Zero versus QuickBooks, which is the best accounting software? Hello everyone, welcome back. The cloud accounting tool is one of the most powerful contributors to the day-to-day -day of a company. And there are two primary leaders in this. One is Zero, and one is QuickBooks. So which one should you be using for a crystal clear view of your accounting? If you want to maximize your tax deductions, make sure that you have a clear view of accounting and stay on top of your projects. Well, both are really popular and both are comprehensive tools that might tick a lot of your boxes, but their approaches are pretty different. So we're going to be discussing the pros and cons as well as the options that you might have depending on your user needs. So both are online and both are optimized specifically for small to mid-sized businesses and large enterprises as well. But for most small businesses, agencies, retail stores, there's a lot to love about both of these systems. Now, if I was to give you a really short answer on what you should be using, well, if you want to choose Xero or QuickBooks, you need to do a bit more of a detailed comparison about the cost, the features, the accountant preferences, reporting, and ease of use. Because these four factors are really what determine what you want to do with any tool. So let's get started with the first question, the ease of use and the setup. Both QuickBooks and Xero have amazing setups. You will see that you can easily set up your account in under 10 minutes on both of these platforms. And they both have trials available. So if you're not ready to commit to either one of them just yet, they both are going to allow you to familiarize yourself with their dashboard that is minimalistic as well as related to product. They are simple yet customizable. They offer you a quick view of profits, loss, expenses, bank balances, invoices, and more. Both are easy to set up and you have huge banking integrations with multiple different regions. Now, if we take a look at their rating by customers, Xero is rated as 4.2 on the Get app, as well as QuickBooks, which is rated as 4.1. So 4.2, 4.1, this is a neck and neck comparison. Now, what about invoicing? Invoicing is something a lot of people ask about because for a lot of smaller businesses, invoicing is where they are going to be spending a lot of their time. Xero makes it easy to create invoices and preview them before sending. And if you want to take a look at QuickBooks, QuickBooks makes it easier to update details about clients that are directly in the invoice rather than having to navigate their contact record. So both of them are pretty reliable when it comes to invoicing. What about expenses and billing? Well, Xero makes it simple to categorize money in and out with charts in accounts. And it can take a little bit of time to get used to this particular feature, but it's still something that isn't too difficult. And if you have zero expenses, an add-on that's included in the established plan if you are in the US, you and your employees can easily reconcile transactions and manage everything without paper receipts. You can even submit your expenses and more. Whereas if we compare this to QuickBooks, it makes it easy for simple expenses and billings with simple charts and customizable track and spend for each category. QuickBooks has expenses functionality built into all their plans rather than add-on, whereas on Xero, it is offered as a add-on. This can mean that you're going to be saving some money when you're using QuickBooks. Now, if we were to compare the reporting, Xero does add more customization in places, but it can get clumsy with its reporting. QuickBooks Online has a advantage when it comes to the market, and they have simple but reliable features. They are able to evolve to the customer's precise needs and your user flows. If you just take a look at the reporting functionalities in your QuickBooks online tool, you will see you have standard, custom, as well as management reports that you can create. So what about the integrations available? Well, integrations can be really important when you're looking to integrate with a CRM, time tracking tool, reporting tools, e-com tools, and other tools. It's really important to see whether or not Xero or QuickBooks allow integration with your specific tool. And they both offer a great level of integration, but it's really dependent on 
what tool you're using. You're going to see both have a wide array of, you know, availabilities for integrations, but this just really is going to be a system for you, depending on what type of project manager you're using, what type of CRM you're using, and more. Now, what do accountants have to say? Accountants really do think that both are well-loved and both are amazing tools to use. And QuickBooks is the market leader in the United States, whereas Xero is more of a fan favorite within Europe. So both are great when it comes to both of these platforms. Now, if I was to provide you guys with a summary, QuickBooks and Xero are excellent. And I would say that when you are looking to choose QuickBooks, if you're in the US, if you want advanced reporting, and if you want a lot of value with a low price point, that is going to be the major contributor to anyone that is choosing QuickBooks because its features are optimized for the US. You're able to do a lot of your taxes on here. You're able to create advanced reports and you can get a lot of features for a really low price at only $9. Whereas when should you be using Zero? Well, if you have a growing startup, if you are a minimalist user, you don't want a lot of features packed in, you want something that looks clean, that looks intuitive, that is something that your team can easily familiarize themselves with, the UI experience on Xero is much cleaner. And if you're anywhere outside of North America, some of the taxation and the accounting features included in QuickBooks Online are not going to serve you as highly as they would have whether you were in the United States. So for that purpose, for that particular reason, Xero is it. So Xero and QuickBooks, although they are neck and neck, these minor differences are going to set them apart from each other. But one other very important thing is the pricing that usually deters a lot of people from any type of tool. Xero has three pricing plans starting for $7.25. This is usually $29 and they go upwards of $15.50 per user per month. Then you have QuickBooks starting at $9 and then the advanced version is at $38. I do think that you're going to get a really limited feature set with a starter version. So I don't think it's something that you should opt for. The better plan on Xero that is going to provide you with more value for your money is the standard plan. However, if you take a look at QuickBooks pricing, their essentials version is $13 and their simple start is $9, which again, the simple start is not something I would recommend. It's just something that is offered. But for most small to mid-sized businesses, if you're looking to expand, you're going to want to use the essentials version, which has all of the basic features that you would be using. So I definitely do think when it comes to price, you're going to be paying a similar price that's slightly lower on zero, but you're going to be getting almost the same features on both of these. So in terms of pricing, if you're going for the mid-size plan, then both of them are almost the same. You're saving a couple of dollars with zero, but for the advanced plan, zero is definitely going to be cheaper in the long run. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.